Next up, the Browns at the Commanders. Commanders are one and a half point favorites here. Browns coming off an embarrassing, terrible loss to the New Orleans Saints, a team that I've written off six times. I thought they were going to win the division. They're Andy Dalton-led. They're basically cooked. Dennis Allen has looked completely over his head at various points this season. But you're not going to win games when Deshaun Watson uh, can't get this offense to score more than 10 points. They're paying this guy like a superstar-level quarterback. I know we had two years off. No sympathy from me there. But if you're paying a guy this much money, you essentially have to be in a win-now window. And the Browns are out of it. They're, they're essentially toast at this point. They've struggled once Watson came back to consider consistently sustain drives to finish drives and I understand that they're viewing this as sort of a almost preseason for next year but I don't know how you can look a lot of those guys in that locker room in the eyes justify what they've done with this season essentially writing off the second half just so they can get Watson some reps at this point he is not being as good as Jacoby Brissett this team is really bad it's pretty brutal to watch Uh, by the same token the commanders coming off another tough loss to the San Francisco 49ers and the commanders actually looked relatively competitive in that game they're fighting for their lives obviously they still have a chance at the NFC wild card one of those wild card slots so this is a must win game for the commanders don't see how they can lose here over under set at 42 and a half feels like a prime teaser candidate if you wanted to tell me you were taking the Browns teasing them up to seven and a half I wouldn't be against it prime long teaser candidate so for now on the actual line give me the commanders minus one and a half but I'm keeping an eye on the spread and teasing it up to plus seven and a half on the Browns. 